All right. Yeah! Hey! Yep. 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 Are they gone? How'd they leave? No way. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> oh. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Y'all freaking suck. What the <laughs> hell? You guys suck. <laughs> what the? Whoa. Melissa Davenport, Reverie Outdoors, Braylon Scalen, The Swag Network, Google Reviewer, Gamer Wolf 6759, GA Outdoors, Riley Fisher, Stephanie Karen, DMV Fisher, Bass FLC, Gone Fishing with Pete. Those are all brand new subscribers. If you want to be shouted out, you know what to do, hit that button. Let's get into this one. Welcome back to another Foul Fridays, and today we're going to be talking about why you don't have to go and spend a buttload of money on ammo while you can run the cheap brands and so we're gonna compare the load size per brand name and see if you're paying for the brand name or if you're really getting the good bang for your buck so to start out I want you guys to drop a comment let me know what ammo you guys prefer using because I love trying new new uh, ammo especially if it's cheap so we're gonna concentrate on three inch still shot only basically because that's all I use no matter if I'm hunting ducks or geese and I'm gonna explain to you why well I'm not really gonna explain in this video but in an upcoming video I'm gonna explain why you don't need to buy the three and a half inch shells and why I personally will never own a three and a half inch chambered shotgun again in my life the Winchester Super X's from Walmart are my go-to cheap shell they're $15.49 a box compared to $18 to $25 for a lot of other brands. So they're just a go-to good shell that I use a lot. The higher load size, meaning the ounces, whether it's, an, whether it's a one ounce shell or a one and a quarter ounce shell, a one and an eighth, one and three eighths, whatever it is, the higher it goes is generally the more expensive the shells are gonna cost. So all ammo today, I'm gonna be referring to two shot one to one and a quarter ounce uh, ounce loads because that's the general size that I feel for ducks and geese is just that general price where you're not paying the extra for the double BBs or the triple BBs so the higher ounce the higher load and uh, once you get into the BBs that's when the prices really start going up no matter what no matter what brand so the reason why I'm referring to Walmart a lot a lot is I know all you guys have Walmarts and I actually have a Walmart that is literally two miles away from my house. So it's simple for me to get up early in the morning if I need to get shells before the hunt and go to Walmart and just get those. So if they are out of the Super X, the Winchester Super X, the cheap ones for $15.49, I do resort to a little more expensive shell from Walmart. These bad boys, <laughs> these blind sides, if you read them, they are an ounce and three eighths. This is, when you don't run a three and a half inch gun, that ounce and three eighths right here, holy cow, does that bad boy pack a punch. That's the closest thing you can get to a three and a half inch shell. I'm not saying just this brand is the closest or that just this brand has this ounce and three eighths. A lot of brands do, but I'm just saying from Walmart, these suckers cost, let me look, so these suckers, I believe, cost anywhere between, depending on where you are in the country. I've tried studying, I can't really get the finger on it completely as far as prices across the area. But these suckers are like $18 to $23, depending on where you live. Now, I like to keep these in the blind bag, especially for goose hunting. Goose hunting only with these guys is when I really need them. It's for when I need long shots. When the first two groups have came in, they're not decoying close. It's going to be a farther shot. That ounce and three eighths, boy howdy, it'll reach out and it'll touch them. So these bad boys stay in the bag at all times. I use them the least I can so I can save them. Uh, they're expensive, so I only use them suckers when I need to. And with them, I do not need a three and a half inch shell whatsoever. So those are my two go-to uh, boxes that I try to find every time that I'm at the store. 
I'll stock up on them a little bit. And uh, I, I love the shells, they're cheap. They're from Walmart. I don't have to go to Cabela's or, or order them online or do something crazy. They're right there, and that is what I like. So, like I said, my first go-to box runs about $15.49 a box. My second, depending where you are, $18 to $21, $22, bucks a box for the blind sides. Now we're gonna compare the prices to other companies out there and see where they lie in that one and a one and a quarter ounce shell three inch steel shot I, I all these prices are on the two shot i didn't put bb prices i didn't do that these are all two in or the two shot <laughs> ounce to ounce and a quarter no ounce and three eighths steel shot three inch shotgun shells first up the fiachis i think is how you pronounce it i found these for 12.99 a box that's pretty darn cheap I have ran these in the past, but not very much at all. These aren't as abundant at our local outdoor stores, so that is the reason why I hardly have ever ran them. Now, Herder's brand. I've had some buddies tell me that they bought these because they got them cheap and said that they didn't like them, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of, of Herder's? Drop a comment below and let me know if you guys have ever used them. If they're decent, for $11.99 a box, I might just pick me up some. Heavy metal, man, we all know heavy metal, heavy steel, they are great shells. I love shooting them. They're freaking cannons, uh, but they're priced anywhere from you know $22.99 a box up to $25.99 a box. For me, uh, I might burn through a couple boxes in, in, a, in one morning or evening hunt, so literally that would be over $50 for me for a hunt. I, I just can't do that. So that's why I stay away from these. They are great shells though. Now the heavy steel, I did find these for $14.99 a box, which is way cheaper than I can find them around here. But if I can ever find them for that price, I'm gonna snatch them up because I know these heavy brands, man, these are great shells. Now Federal, I have had uh, I, my, my gun before, my Franke here, that gun is an awesome gun. My new gun is an awesome gun. My old gun was a TriStar. I love that gun, cheap gun, cheap, cheap semi-auto gun. You can get it from freaking Walmart. I, I think I got three years out of it before it to totally took a poop on me, but that TriStar would not cycle a Federal to save my life. I have heard the Frankies like I own now they are made for a fed uh, for the federal so i haven't even ran them the Franke works great i recommend that shotgun if you're looking for one now black cloud 22.99 a box for black clouds i have shot these and uh i have seen no performance diff Blech. i have seen no performance difference worth the extra seven to ten dollars that i'm going to spend per box it's just not worth it to me uh, no, no pun intended on Black Cloud. They're, they're awesome shells. They kill geese. Great design to them. But I have almost found that, that Black Cloud run a little dirty. Uh, if you guys have experienced that, let me know. But Black Clouds seem to run dirty. They dirty up your gun ex very, very fast compared to the Winchesters or really any other shell that I've used. So uh, let me know if you've experienced that. Moving on, the Browning BXDs. The reason I, I chose to feature this is because I've never ran it. I love Browning products in general. They make really good stuff, but I've never ran, le ran these. I'm sure they're great shells. They come in at $29 a box, $20.99 a box, so I wouldn't mind running these. If you guys have, let me know how they do. Now, most of these prices are Cabela's prices. Cabela's a pretty good comp competitor, especially online. Uh, so these prices kind of vary. They tend to vary, uh, you know, where you live in the nation or the world. <clears throat> Some parts are going to be way more expensive, maybe suburbs and stuff like that compared to the middle of, middle of freaking Kansas. But another quick tip, since I was looking, I did stumble across some discounted deals on Cabela's actually, but there's more out there on cases. Cases of steel shot. If you guys come across good discount where you're saving... Where you're saving 20, 30 bucks a case, snatch them up because that's a heck of a savings. You know, you're almost getting one to two boxes free if you can find the right deals. So, snatch up them cases, sales, 
get a buddy, go on it half and half. It's gonna save you some money, Jack. But to end this here video, always buy the load size for what you're gonna be doing. This is my long range goose shell that I, that I use, ounce and three eighths. I never go under an ounce and a quarter, even for ducks. Uh, you go underneath that and it just, it, it's like it's like a puss, puss shell. So, I mean, it's, you, you need that ounce and a quarter to get the job done for sure. But, but, whoa, but that's just my recommendation. You guys do what you want. And on another note, I know some shotguns cycle different brands of shells better than others. So this is just what has worked for me. I've ran these same shells in literally four different brands of gun, whether it be a Remington, a Winchester, a TriStar, or a Mossberg. I've ran them in all these, and I've kind of had the same outcome on most of them. The only factor, the main, the only main factor of difference, that, that made sense, is how old the gun was and how used up it was. If there was a lot of tolerance issues, of course, uh, different shells are going to be different because of the diameter of that casing. So, if your gun is dirty as crap, that is also an issue and you need to clean the sucker because it's not going to cycle shells worth of junk and stop blaming it on the brand of shell. Clean your gun. But I hope I provided you guys with some great ammo tips for this, for this upcoming season. I am very excited for this upcoming season. It's going to be huge. I want you guys to come back. I want you guys to see these hunts. Like, I want you guys to learn. Any good questions, throw them at me. I literally, I literally reply to everything that you guys put down there. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for coming back. We'll see you on the next one, another one, guys. Man, I can't talk today. Peace. Yeah.